we are being influenced as such physically if you want to follow that chain of thought we're being influenced physically by the energetic field of the orion constellation as it is giving life to our sun and our sun as such is giving life to the rest of the um, celestial bodies that are that are you know that are positioned in the tree as such in the solar tree uh, yeah, there's a good, good, there's a there's a good probability that Jupiter and, and Saturn, as everybody knows, could well be were stars that became dwarf stars that became suns that are slowly dying, as in a death star symbolism. And it, there's and there's a good connection that the, to that that the moons, and I talk about this in my graphic novels, that the moons themselves were were some of them were created partly artificially through taking celestial bodies. And then we're into the whole raft of subjects that relate to extraterrestrial intelligence and other subjects. But my goodness, I mean, Orion is so big. I mean, there is no... When you look at science fiction and you look at everything in the movies from Star Wars to the Transformers movies, say, for example, and I'm just putting this out there as a creative individual. I'm not saying, I'm not saying for a minute that this is exactly how it is, but how do we know that or not know that the so-called Star Wars and the battles that have taken place on Earth and in the heavens are not in and around and located around the Orion Nebula between different systems, you know, different empires.